Cars 3 backed into a corner on the edge of facing extinction, Pepperoni as a result is forced in using his last strategy in creating a massive multi-merged abomination as a last resort to defeat Universe 7 in surviving the Tournament of Power, but the question that's on everyone's mind is how powerful is Aniraza going to be and can Universe 7 defend itself on time without losing any more of its members? As right now we're going to be diving into the Dragon Ball Super Episode 121 preview, the final episode of 2017, in further analyzing, dissecting, and breaking down the events that are scheduled to follow in the upcoming episode. And again, if you guys are new to this channel and love Dragon Ball, don't forget to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button alongside enabling all notifications by clicking that bell icon. That way you guys can be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto this channel in connection to Dragon Ball news, information updates, and spoilers. Hashtag Dragon Ball Squad as we're going to kick off the Dragon Ball Super Episode 121 preview breakdown and having to see Gohan completely get obliterated by the massive fighter known as Aniraza. Now Aniraza is supposed to be the multi-fusion of all of Universe 3's remaining fighters in creating this massive gigantic being and which was revealed in Jump Festa just a few days ago but now we see him emerge in the flesh in the world of Dragon Ball Super and it doesn't look like Gohan is going to have any sort of resiliency in having to withstand any of the attacks that Ani Raz is going to be dishing out to Gohan, so I guess we can count Gohan as getting foddered by this newly created warrior as we transition into the next shot here. And as compared to Super Saiyan Vegeta, which again you have to ask yourself as to why Vegeta isn't a Super Saiyan Blue, this massive creature known as Ani Raza is looking to completely stomp out Vegeta. Now, as you guys can see, according to both images having to be seen on screen, Vegeta seems to avoid the inevitable and in not getting hit, but one must ask themselves as to why Vegeta was a Super Saiyan Blue in Dragon Ball Super. Super Episode 120, and he's not a Super Saiyan Blue in Dragon Ball Super Episode 121. That to me doesn't make any sense, but obviously everybody from Universe 7 is being targeted, and which includes Vegeta as we transition into the next shot here, with Ani Raza having to completely backhand Android 18. Now we can only make the assumption that this character is going to be at such a level to where nobody other, I believe, than Super Saiyan Blue could even be a remote challenge to it, but either way, Android 18 steps up and Android 18 gets put down, which I think ought to happen because I think if there was ever a time to get rid of another Universe 7 fighter, I think more so than anything else, this would be the perfect time to get rid of Android 18. She served her purpose. I don't see her being more or less involved in Dragon Ball anymore in terms of the Tournament of Power story. So 18, she's done her job. She's done great. And I think now more so than ever, her time has passed. And I do believe that in my opinion, Ani Raza might be the creature to ring her out as we transition into the next shot here, which shocked me completely in finally having to see Frieza more or less involved in helping Universe 7 in being active as a fighter as the translations go as follows, hey it's me Goku, and Frieza looks to be engaging against Ani Raza as we go into the next shot here, and it goes on to say Pepperoni's secret plan is activated and the ultimate giant warrior appears. And according to what Frieza, and it looks like from what he's doing, it looks like he's about to use his death beam attack against Ani Raza, which I personally love. And I'm very curious as to why now, why Frieza is involved now, than how he was compared to before. So either way, finally, for anybody out there who is a Frieza fan, we will finally get to see Frieza in action against Ani Raza as we go into the next shot here. And Ani Raza looks to be using some sort of an attack on his skull on the top of his head and firing back against Frieza, which again, I don't have a problem with because in the next shot here, it looks like due to Frieza's death beam and Ani Raza's attack, it creates this massive explosion that engulfs the entire arena so you know props to Frieza for getting involved finally at the end of the year for the final episode in Dragon Ball Super for 2017 it looks like more so now we're gonna see Frieza more active in defending his fighters because keep in mind Ani Raza is not going to be a weak fighter by any means as we transition into the next shot here Ani Raza seems to be looking at his hand as we see this massive ball of energy having to be created and as compared to the other you know mountains and rocks around him he is very very big as we go into the next shot here with Goku and Gohan looking very angry looking very concerned 
as to what they're up against and more correctably you know it's suitable for them to be that way because if you had Goku smiling or Gohan smiling that eliminates the purpose of Aniraza having to be any sort of threat as we get to see Aniraza in the next shot here in all of his glory and a lot of people would often say that he looks more or less like a reashed Hatchak or maybe the combined fusion of Frieza and Jiren. Either way, to me, he looks pretty badass as we go into the next shot here with Vegeta having to send off dozens of blasts in Aniraza's direction as it goes on to state, with its overwhelming destructive attacks, the fighting stage might fall apart. Now, I don't think that the fighting stage is going to fall apart by any means, but it is highly possible that due to all the destruction in the ring, the ring could be ultimately unstable and causing pretty much rifts between fights involving specific characters, if more or less that's deemed that way, but I don't see the ring having to break. I don't see Ani Raza having to destroy the entire ring completely, but we go into the next shot here, Android 18 seems to be firing off some attacks as well, and as we transition forward, we see Ani Raza, he's stomping around, he's punching everything in his way, he's stomping everything that he possibly could even locate, and one of which, as you guys can see, is Super Saiyan God Goku. So it looks like Ani Raza, as compared and as seen in this shot here, has enough power and enough oomph to put down Goku in his godlike level. As it goes on to say, Vegeta, Frieza, lend us your strength. And really what's important about this is the fact that Goku's the one making the call to action and getting Vegeta and Frieza more active against such a fighter. So my question to all of you guys, and which you guys can let me know down below, is how strong is Ani Raza compared to Super Saiyan God? Is he Super Saiyan God level? Is he above Super Saiyan God level? Is he slightly below Super Saiyan God level? I want to know from you guys down the comment section below as we go into the next shot here. Ani Raza stomping around, smashing everything in his way. As we get to see in the next shot, he punches 17. Now, why is this so important? Because so far, Ani Raza has punched Vegeta, or at least attempted to, punched Android number 18, he's punched Goku, and now he hits 17. Now, the only difference between the other fighters and 17 is in the next shot here, very disturbingly, it looks like in some way, shape, or form, Android 17, he looks like he's about to be eliminated from the Tournament of Power. Now, I don't really know if this is going to be the case. I don't know if Android 17 is going to be rung out. I truly hope to God he does not because Android 17 thus far has been a huge asset to Universe Number 7. So I do think that it is possible for him to be eliminated, although I would like for that spot to go to Android 18. Keep in mind, look around Android Number 17's surroundings. All you really see are these rocks that are pretty much going down and there's nothing around it. Like there's no, you know, landing pad. There's nothing there. So it just looks like emptiness to me. As we go into the next shot here, they're all together next time on Dragon Ball Super. Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, Android 17, and behind 17 is Frieza, in which I covered in a separate video, as the final shot in the preview is translated in saying, All Out War, the ultimate quadruple merged fighter versus Universe 7's full scale attack. So Ani Raza, in comparison, has to be either godlike level or a godlike fighter because there is no way that he's gonna fight Super Saiyan God Goku and gain the upper hand if he doesn't have a power significant to that. As again, we get to see in the next shot, it says don't miss it. Vegeta goes on the attack, which I, I really cannot wait to see, but it's, it's really dumbfounding as to why Vegeta isn't a Super Saiyan Blue. If anybody out there can answer that for me, it just seems a bit confusing how in the previous episode, he was a Super Saiyan Blue and now he is not. And then right next to him, it looks like we have Super Saiyan God Goku and he's also on the offensive, which I'm really hyped about because Goku looks like he's about to put some work in. However, as you guys can see, Ani Raza's eyes are just all over the place. The dude looks like he's about to put some serious work in and the, the unique quality about Ani Raza is the fact that he is one of the first, you know, multi-fused fighters that we've seen in Dragon Ball Super in comparison to having to merge willingly instead of having to be absorbed or obtained in a different way. So post your comments down below, guys. What are your overall expectations for Ani Raza? 
what are your overall expectations for the Z Fighters? Who do you guys believe is gonna emerge victorious by the very end? Is it going to be Universe 7? Is somebody else going to step in and ring out Aniraza? I want to know your thoughts down below, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are stoked, hyped, and ready for the final episode of 2017, Go on ahead and slap a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, punch that subscribe button, guys. Hopefully enough, the goal is to break past 600,000 subscribers as we go into 2018. Let me know what you all think about God Goku having to get stomped out, Blue Vegeta having to be missing, Frieza having to be in action, and potentially seeing 17 be rung out. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Once again, tune back in for more. Thank you all so much for your support. Check out the previous videos on the channel. We're going to have loads of discussions dropping this week as well. Thank you all once again, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.